Happy Thursday. I today wanted to talk to you about my dreamers. Who is a dreamer? What is your greatest, most scariest, but obtainable dream that you have? Um, I am reading a book. It's called School of Greatness. Um, by Lewis House, uh, and I was uh, put in the direction to read his book um, by a lady that I've been following for about two years now. Had no idea that I would be so intrigued and inspired by somebody that I really don't know in person, but it does happen, and you probably have already inspired by people and follow them and not even realize that they are your mentors. Um, one of the things in Lewis's book that he talks about in the School of Greatness is breaking down your goals and setting them up so where you can accomplish them, but dreaming of the biggest goal that you have and putting a expiration date on it. So instead of saying, I am going to be a millionaire by... I'm going to be a millionaire, say. Well, when are you going to be a millionaire, bud? You need to put a date on something to make it a real goal. It should be a scary goal. Something that right now you truly cannot accomplish, but you know that if once you set that goal, that you are going to make sure you can obtain that goal. Another thing, and a step that I'm on right now, and that's the reason, hence why I wanted to do this, video is he is talking about setting up your perfect day and you know I keep thinking about it and keep thinking about it and I'm just thinking I can't write it down because I need to fully understand the concept of what he's saying feel it you know all the emotions that go along with it truly believe you know not every day is going to be the same but if you had your perfect day and with obtaining that goal, how do you want to plan your day? What do you want your day to look like? Um, I know me, I have worked, you know, 60, 70 hour weeks. And when I was in the automotive industry, I, one of the reasons why I don't want to go back in the automotive industry is I fully emerge myself into my job. I will not take any days off. I will work constantly. If there's 163, 168 hours in a day, I will probably be working anytime my phone goes off. And if, you know, if I'm up, I'm going to be working. I will disregard my family. I will disregard my dogs. I will not fully be what I want to be in life. And I will be working for somebody else. I know that I don't want that. I know in my heart of hearts, my goal is to move to Hawaii because um, I went there this summer and absolutely fell in love. My goal is to travel, you know, next year, 2016. Met a girl on social media and uh, her goal this year was to go to one new place every single month. And that is my goal for 2016. Even if it's a mini weekend, um, I want to travel. You know, my parents are traveling <laughs> traveling gurus they've been you know across the country twice on two different you know directions and their pictures their stories and the experiences that they've had are amazing um but you know when I moved to Hawaii like I don't want to work all the time I want to work maybe 30 hours a week on a Monday through Sunday spectrum um which is not that much considering most people work Monday through Friday you know, either swing shift, 12-hour shifts, or three, you know, Monday through Friday, 9 to 5, or what have you. I don't want to do that. It's not who I am. It's not who I want to be, and I don't want to do that. But in order to not do that and be able to, you know, when I do decide to have a child, be able to go to his or her school functions, you know, being able to take my dog to the park whenever I want to or they have a huge coffee run going on here, and I want to be able to participate in that. You have to set a goal, and you have to plan your days and according to how to accomplish your goal. Yes, there's going to be a little bit of sacrifices to obtain that goal, that ultimate goal that you have. But when you obtain that goal, 
Obviously, you'll make a new goal that's going to be scary big. But when you obtain that goal, the feeling and accomplishment of obtaining that goal is crazy. When I was 18, I decided uh, my big scary goal was to make six figures. And I am a ruby and an emerald gem. And I am motivated by a challenge. I'm motivated um, by money. Um, and that's just me. And I have tried to change and I just can't. But my goal was to make six figures by the time I was 28. I accomplished that goal well before my 28th birthday. But when I hit that goal, I did feel accomplished, but I didn't feel fulfilled. There had been something missing. And I don't want, I wasn't living. I wasn't enjoying the fruits of the labor, I guess, so to speak. I wasn't enjoying life. So my dream now is to move to Hawaii and to get back to, you know, living comfortably the way that I was, you know, making that type of money, which I know will happen. But right now, that's a crazy, crazy goal of mine, but it's obtainable. Um, dreams are not just, you know, poof, you say it and it's going to happen. Dreams are something that you have to be willing to work for. And I certainly know who I am and definitely growing into a better version of who I am every single day by working on my personal growth, which I am going to be in December hosting a group. Um, it's a My Mind cha Challenge where we'll be taking 21 days of fulfilling our working our minds as well as fueling our body and building ourselves up from the inside and then the outside will take control, you know, after the 21 days. And you will see a transformation which is pretty crazy when you take at least 10 minutes a day and read, make sure you're eating correctly and make sure you're working out, you know, via exercise at least 30 minutes a day doing the correct workouts along with those meal plans to where you can actually see the transformation that your mind has and take an effect in your body with the physical transformation through inner, which is crazy, but definitely experienced it. People around me have experienced it. Research I have seen has shown me that it's true. Um, it's definitely not a myth. So for all my dreamers out there, dream big. Put it an expiration date on it. Post it below because I want to know what your big dream is. And tell and shout it to the world. It's okay to put it on social media that your dreams are big. You know, you're going to have the naysayers. You're going to have people who tell you you're not, you can't accomplish that. But guess what? Delete, unfriend, or keep them there. Let them motivate you if you don't know, you know, who, what your motivation is or how you get motivated, what your why is. Let them be your motivation. Prove those naysayers wrong. Um, I just seen a post to one of my fellow coaches. She bought her dream car, and she remembers to the day exactly that a gentleman said that she that is an obtainable goal. You know, you're not going to get that. That's You're crazy. That's not going to happen. And she posted on social media to show that, you know, she can do that. You can do that. Like, all you need to do is believe in yourself Set the goal, work towards the goal to get to exactly where you need to be. Again, I'm reading The School of Greatness. And so far, it's been a very, very awesome book. I'm only in the very beginning. But I was able to figure out so much this past two weeks about myself and truly need to, would need to get out of my own way basically. And how I'm going to get out of my own way is by following exactly how I want to schedule my perfect day during when I achieve my great goal. So to all my dreamers and believers, rock out the rest of this year and then rock out 2016. 
Because that's exactly what us dreamers are going to be doing day in and day out. And then when we hit our dream, we'll be putting up another big dream. Have a great day, guys.